Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Shade. Thank you all so much for joining me for my astrology talk on my channel, Hidden Alchemy by Shade. If it is your first time hearing any of my videos, welcome. If not, welcome back. I am an astrologer that studies Western astrology, dealing with Placidus as well as whole signs. And if you want more of my work, I'm a yoga teacher as well as a meditation guide. Go ahead and head over to my website where you can also sign up for your reading at hiddenalchemybyshade.com. For today's video, we are going to go ahead and dive into the very energetic and optimistic new moon that we have happening in the sign of Sagittarius on December 12th. Now, of course, I usually love to say this in my videos that whenever we're dealing with a new moon or a full moon, an eclipse, or just any change of any planet or any sign changing, you can usually feel the shifts and changes of the planet, of the sign, of the moon days prior and maybe even a week prior, especially if you are a person that has the sign in your big three. So I'm sure if you are a Sagittarius sun, moon, or rising, you have definitely been feeling the new moon energy probably for the entire month of December. If you have not seen any of my videos on what the Sagittarius archetype means, what a new moon, what a full moon is, go ahead and check some of my videos out so you can have a deeper understanding of what I will be talking about for this video. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it as well as some tips to help you all with this new moon we have in Sagittarius. Now, the reason I call this new moon a very optimistic and a very energetic new moon in Sagittarius is because we also have the planet Mars in the sign of Sagittarius. Now, Sagittarius is already a fire sign, right? So Mars being in the sign of Sagittarius is very comfortable because it gets to act, it gets to move. And when we're dealing with the energy of Sagittarius, right, it's masculine, ruled by Jupiter, it's mutable, so very shifty, very changey, and most importantly, very faith-based and optimistic. So this is going to be a very energizing week of this new moon week because we have so much Sagittarius energy. We have the sun, we have the moon, and we have Mars. And we're just coming off of the full moon in Gemini, which was also a mutable sign, giving us that activation of ideas, that activation of change and movement. What I love about the mutable signs, so whenever we're dealing with Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, it's ushering us into a new season. So mutable energy is always going to push us and challenge us to change our perspective, to change our ideas, and to even change in terms of action. Because this is fire energy, there will be some movement towards a bigger vision, a bigger goal that you have for yourself. If you think back to the Gemini full moon that we had, and even the Scorpio new moon that we had previously, what were some things that were changing, shifting, and altering in your life that might have been fixed, right? Coming off of that Scorpio new moon, things that might have been hidden underneath the surface that needed to come to the light for you to really clear out and have a healthier way of relating with. And then the Gemini full moon, what new ideas, what new people, new connections, right? New information came to your table that this Sagittarius new moon is going to give you that spark of inspiration to act. Sagittarius energy is all about being inspired, about moving further on one's journey and moving on one's journey with faith that the universe will always be on your side as long as you are in alignment with your truth. And because we are in the holiday season, it is a time for some people of lots of joy, lots of celebration. But in that same duality, it is also a time of deep sadness, deep reflection, because an aspect of the year is ending. So hopefully with this Sagittarius new moon, it can be a time of exhaling a bit, celebrating with some friends and slowing down. The big irony of this Sagittarius new moon is going to be the fact that Mercury will station retrograde in the same week. So it's a jam-packed week and a jam-packed month of December energetically. So whatever ideas that come to the table, whatever whatever joy or inspiration you have and whatever you're sparked into acting upon, keep in mind that once Mercury stations retrograde, 
you will have to come back to the table and to reevaluate and revise whatever new idea you move towards. So because this is such strong Jupiter energy, Jupiter rules expansion, don't dream big, but do not overextend your confidence. Do not overextend your action to start something new. Have that spark be inspired to move forward, but also come back to reality. Another reason I'm saying come back to reality, not only will Mercury be stationing retrograde in the sign of Capricorn, okay? So Capricorn is all about being realistic and being practical, but this new moon is also making a square to Neptune that is in the sign of Pisces. Neptune will also be stationing direct this month. So lots of dreamy, imagination, buzzy type of energy, which is great, which is great, but there can be some corners and some detail that we're not paying attention to that is going to ask us for deeper attention and deeper consideration for the rest of the month of December as Mercury stations retrograde in Capricorn and then reverses all the way back into Sagittarius. So not to say that these new ideas, these new forms of inspiration, and these new people that you might be connecting with during this Sag new moon is a wrong idea, but just keep in mind that nothing will be concrete this month because of this retrograde. On top of Mercury stationing retrograde, we also have, like I said, Neptune stationing direct as well as Jupiter stationing direct at the end of this month. So really take this time of December along with this new moon energy, and we will have a really nice Cancer full moon at the end of the month as we have Jupiter Station Direct. Take this month to dream. Take this month to be inspired. Take this month to really connect with people that also align with your dreams and together share ideas, bounce ideas off of each other. Nothing needs to be written in pen. It can be written in pencil so you can go back and edit and revise for this Mercury retrograde, but really take advantage of this collective pause that we'll have this month and take into consideration those ideas that you have for yourself, those thoughts, those visions, those dreams, those wants. Take that fire energy deeper into consideration and really start to map out practical ways that you can begin to plant some seeds as we move deeper into the spring element once we get into that Pisces season of the year. So I hope you all have an amazing Sagittarius new moon. Spend time with friends, spend time with family, spend time dreaming, spend time in leisure, and most importantly, have faith that everything will always work out for your greatest good. That is what the Sag energy brings us whenever we are in this Sag season. All right, y'all, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or head over to my website, send me a message, and we can dive a little bit deeper into your chart so you can see where this new moon might be affecting you. All right, everyone, I will see you all. Have an amazing new moon.